using VMware Workstation 10. Um, as you can see from the library listing of operating systems that I have installed, I have a Windows 7 Enterprise installation and also a Windows 2008 R2 installation. What we're going to do is we're going to make this virtual machine nice and clean and we're going to convert it over to become a virtual machine template so we can deploy many workstations from the one template. So often using VMware workstation platform we need to quickly create new virtual machines. So first thing we need to do is make sure that we install a good copy of the operating system of Windows 7. This one is Windows 7 Enterprise. It does have a volume license. First thing we have to do is make sure that everything is as it should be. This is uh, a nice clean install. I haven't installed too much. I, in, I have installed Notepad++ which is a nice option. Uh, better uh, text editor than the standard Notepad. I've also installed the VMware tool set for added functionality. Now, the first thing we need to do is to run uh, sysprep. Okay, so we're going to open up a command prompt. Okay, if you saw what I did there, I just clicked the start button and in the search I typed in CMD. As a matter of fact, let's do that as an administrator. So, CMD in the search bar, come up here and right click and run as administrator. Go ahead and say yes to user account control. Okay, so we're in the system32 directory already. Um, sysprep is actually located in this directory, so we will cd sysprep. And when we're in here, we're just going to type sysprep. And that opens up the system preparation tool. Okay, um, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter system audit mode. I will also generalize. Okay, when you enter system audit mode, what it does is it reboots, okay, and it logs you in as the hidden administrator account. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wipe out all of the local user profiles at the same time. This will wipe out any uh, security IDs. Yes, IDs will be gone. Alright, um, after that reboot, I'll show you what's happening then. So I'm going to go ahead and run this tool. And to make the video brief, I'm going to pause here and only unpause when something happens. Okay, this is uh, starting its reboot process right now. Once the reboot is complete, we will be in the administrator account. Okay, uh, setup is now installing devices. We're getting ready to enter into the administrative account. Okay, looks like we're getting the system settings applied and this uh, administrator account should be booting up now. Okay, logging in. Okay, there's that lovely sound. Okay, so right now we have the system preparation tool that has instantiated again. I'm going to go ahead and set the network location. I'm going to put this one off to the side. I use a work network whenever possible. It's that's a halfway decent set of firewall rules, and if we ever put this uh, Windows 7 machine onto a domain, then we will 
want to do this properly. Anyway, um, first thing that I'm going to do, you can see that I'm logged in as the hidden administrator. I'm going to go to the control panel and I am going to remove the local user accounts. You see here I have a, an account called student. I will want to have no user accounts. Okay, and the student account is gone. Let me go ahead and close this. Now that's all I really needed to do. The uh, VMware tools are installed. Also Notepad++ is installed. I'm going to go ahead and put that onto the taskbar. So it's there. Um, of course you could add any other software that you need to add to your installation before we go ahead and convert this thing over to a template. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this system preparation tool again this time instead of going into the audit mode and automatic be, um, automatically being logged in as a administrator I'm going to give it the system out of box experience or UBI. I will also click the generalize box Okay, and instead of rebooting once it's done, I want it to just shut down. Okay, once we're at that point, we'll have this operating system absolutely clean, and then we from there we can go ahead and manipulate the uh, actual virtual machine files through uh, VMware. Okay, says so prep is still working. Okay, shutting down and it is shut down. Okay, so machine is shut down. It's got uh, our settings the way we want them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this virtual machine. So I'm going to take my name off of the beginning of it and I'm going to call this all capitals template underscore win7 and one. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so our next step is to create a snapshot of this template. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the template. Right click, snapshot, take snapshot. We'll name the snapshot template windows seven enterprise okay and we will take the snapshot now that the snapshot of the template machine is taken we need to inform VMware workstation to use this particular virtual machine as a template available for cloning in the future this can be done in the virtual machine settings in order to do that we need to right click on the virtual machine again and then click settings in the context menu okay and in the options we'll go to advanced here where it says default default and we will check enable template mode so we could use this for cloning all right once we've done that we can click OK alright so now we can go ahead and build a clone our next step is to right click again in the context menu let's go to manage and then clone okay now the clone wizard comes up go next and <clears throat> we'll clone from an existing snapshot which is the snapshot that we just took next now we have the opportunity to pick a cloning method I would recommend that you do a full clone not a linked clone a linked clone is a reference to the original virtual machine and requires less disk space to store however it can't run without access to the original virtual machine 
if we create a full clone then we can take this copy and deploy it to different servers or different hosts so let's go ahead and create a full clone now the virtual machine name I'm gonna go ahead and call mine J Hines win seven and one okay and there is the directory where it will reside and it's preparing to do its clone and now we just watch it do its process this process actually takes a little bit so we'll go ahead and pause still cloning still going and we're almost complete and still going and finally the process completes now we can click close and you'll notice that we have J Hines win 7 and 1 if we go ahead and we power on that virtual machine we should see the out-of-box experience still installing and here we go into the booting stage and here we are at the initial the initial install screen we'll go ahead and accept the region and time settings we'll put in our username Okay, password. And accept the license agreement. Update settings, time settings. Choose a network and we're all set.